all right guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna show you about my k1 filter media comes in a bag like this right. got on Amazon and um, a lot of people are using this online this is what mine looks like video stock sponsor you see it it's one gallon um, and it's in this bag so get on with it guys so what I did was I added this K1 filter media to my swirl filter and it goes like this from my aquaponics system from the pump right up goes to my swirl filter right here and then I'll show you guys what I did in here all right guys there's a K1 filter media this is what they look like so beneficial bacteria is supposed to grow in here in the middle housed and then as you can see how it's moving, it's supposed to knock each other around and knock all the um, debris off the K1 filter media and also the weak bacteria fall off and only the good bacteria or the, I would say, the best bacteria, they live. So efficiency rate is very high. <clears throat> and um, on the sore filter, I made some modifications. I added a T here and I put this net pot inside and I zip tied the other one on the bottom. I used a bigger net, net pot on the bottom. And um, this stops the filter media like this from running through my pipe and going down into my aquaponics. Okay guys, but check it out. And then for air, this is what I did for air. I used one of these big sponge filters. And I dropped them down, <clears throat> but also there's a lot of flow in here. I have a pipe in here in the bottom right here in this area. There is a pipe and it shoots the water up from here. And it brings the water up into this K1 filter media. So yeah, you guys, this is um, very important here. On the other side, I put some on the other side. They're just sitting there. And I got my other sponge filter here, but basically this K1 filter is supposed to be moving around and it, um, that's a beneficial bacteria place to stay. And then on top of that, on the bottom I have my drain. So I'll just drain this and then all the um, waste can come out, any debris. So self-cleaning and then on the bottom it'll drain. And then I noticed so far, if you check out my garden, like my little um, sprouts here. So I was trying to grow some romaine lettuce, see them. They're having a really hard time. Last week they were really struggling, but now you can see this week they're standing straight and they're really strong. The only thing I did different now was I added this K1 and the bacteria growing. So I guess it's the nitrite cycle is uh, getting better and getting my plant some nutrition. You see, and I got my pepper here growing. So everything just boosted over this week just from adding those um, bacteria. So you look it up, I guess the bacteria grow every, I don't know, so many hours. <clears throat> but then check it out guys, how that just moves around, you guys can see. Alright guys, if you like this, hit the like button, support the channel, subscribe to my channel. And I've got tomatoes, peppers, and everything else. So I guess it's lobby and it's on. Yeah, there's a K1 filter. I'm happy with it. I'll pick up a couple more bags and keep adding to it. Right now I've got four bags. I've got four gallons in this thing and no complaints here. See how deep that is? So much. It looks good. Alright guys, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Support the channel and thank you.